you do, this is Mac Tom Tips, and uh, today we're going to be doing a uh, solid state drive versus traditional uh, hard drive just comparison. So uh, I'm just going to bring up a picture right now for you guys from uh, just a regular hard drive and how it looks. This should be recognized by most of you. I mean, if you haven't seen a hard drive, I don't know why you're watching this, this video right now. Uh, but here's a hard drive picture, general one, and here is a picture of a solid state drive, which is SSD, which is what they're called, the solid state drive. Now, um, you can obviously tell it's much smaller, but they do come in the same form factor as the larger ones. They're not all uh, the small kind. There are some 3.5 inch ones, so uh, that doesn't really matter, but generally they are the smaller uh, casing hard drive. Now, if you open them up, I'm first going to show you a picture here of a regular hard drive. As you see, it has the little arm that comes out with the pin and touches down the spinning um, kind of CD-like thing, if you can compare it to that. And uh, what happens is that disk spins at super high RPM while the hand moves back and forth detecting your data. That's how it collects information. But uh, a solid state drive, as you see in this picture, it has flash memory right here. You can see all these little squares, so you get direct contact to the memory. There's no waiting, I guess you could say, even though it's measured in like milliseconds. There's no waiting for the arm to reach over to that one part of the disk where that data is held. Um, and uh, here, it's kind of a, a regular hard drive works as like a, imagine a record player. Here's a record right here, as you see it's kind of like the disc in the middle and here's a record player. As you see the hand comes down and reads the data in case of records music off it. And that's how a hard drive works. Now uh, there are advantages and disadvantages of both. One huge advantage for a hard drive with the spinning disc is its capability to, well for now in this time period, its capability to hold large amounts of data. Like, um, I'm going to bring up a website here and compare the data versus price comparison, but the solid state drive only, I mean, generally there's no more than 100 gigabytes if you generally get one, but if you're like a big spender and you want to get that high end one, then yeah, you have to spend a lot more, but they do make them. As you see on the site, I'm bringing a new egg right now, um, which I use for most of my videos to compare stuff. Uh, right now, off the bat, you can see capacity for a regular hard drive goes up to 2.5 terabytes and higher. If you click on that, it actually shows 4 terabytes and 3 terabytes. Now if you go over to the solid state drives, it only shows up to 40 gigs in the normal thing. You click more, and it does go all the way up to 1 terabyte. Now, there's only two here. One of them is cheaper, but it's a hybrid. It's not fully solid state. The one that is fully solid state is over $2,000. And I don't know if you want to spend that on just a hard drive. I could build an entire gaming PC for that much. Now the regular hard drives, you can go to $100 to $200, and 2.5 terabytes or higher, boom, you have, here's a 3 terabyte Western Digital, 180 bucks. Lot cheaper, significantly. Now in the future, these will get cheaper, uh, solid state drives are getting cheaper by the day, I mean, uh, you can go down here to 25 to $50, and you can get a nice uh, 60 gig one, right here you see, 50 bucks a Vertex Plus 60 uh, solid state drive which isn't bad for the time plus um, usually people use solid state drives for their boot drive just so they boot up faster not many people are using them today for like real data alright so now I'm going to just start listing the advantages and disadvantages of them for you guys to see pretty clearly um, I'm going to start with uh, just the, I'm going to put them both up the hard drive and the solid state drive now, an advantage for the hard drive is the space capacity, as you see, you can go to multiple terabytes worth of space, which is insane, for a cheap price, a lot cheaper. So we have the amount of space, and it's cheaper. Now, a disadvantage to the hard drive is it will not last as long, it'll break down easier, since it's constantly spinning. It produces more heat, since it's constantly spinning, which also um, kind of work down with the whole not lasting long since heat's being um, produced. Now for the solid state drive it's kind of just the opposite. It has less space but it's a lot more expensive which are the two downsides but it is a lot faster and it doesn't produce as much heat. Plus it'll last a lot longer for you and it's a lot smaller compact for your uh, computer. Now all in all I would recommend that you get like a 30 or 40 gig one 
maybe even a 60, just to store your um, Windows or whatever kind of boot up uh, software you're using. Uh, your OS, I, would, I'm, I use Windows, so I would just put my Windows on it and maybe a few like important files that you use a lot because you can access them quicker. Maybe like if you're always going through your pictures if you're a photographer, but those would be some you know some big pictures but uh just something you're always using uh, I would put in the solid state drive just to use that space because it'll be constantly accessed and, and it'll be a lot faster to be used but other than that I would just get like a smaller um, SSD and then a large hard drive a normal hard drive just to store all your stuff like your movies and stuff like that but other than that I wouldn't keep much on a solid state drive but my windows and my like pictures and videos but uh but yeah, that's my recommendations. Um, this video is pretty much over now. If you have any questions, any little details that I didn't get, uh, just feel free to message me and I'll be sure to clear those up with you. And uh, As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos like this. Teachings, I also do unboxings and other kind of computer stuff. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.